is a word problem. It has a few steps, as you can see. First thing, we need to find what the question is asking. So Amy has 15 cats, her friend Ella has six more, David has four fewer cats than Amy. How many cats do we have all together? Obviously, this is our destination. This is what we need to find in this question. Keywords, Emma has 15, Emma has six more, more is a keyword. David has four fewer than Amy. If students don't understand fewer, just replace it with less. Just explain that is that means less. And how many cats do they have all together? So solving a word problem, we use up the upset strategy, our own strategy we developed here. So understand, plan, solve, and learn. So how do we show understanding? First of all, you need to state that this is the question in the question. So the first thing I need to do is all together. That is my question, that's the first point. And then summarize this information in a dot point format. So Amy has 15, her friend Ella, so Ella has six more than, of course, 15. David has four less than Amy, which is Okay, now if I look at this, I can understand the question, I can um, read the question without reading the whole thing. So I need to find all together, Amy has 15, Ella has six more, and David has four less, and now we can start planning it. Students know that when we ask about all together, we have to combine quantities. So we have three quantities to add. And when we say planning, we start with no numbers. So you plan the, the, the quantities with no numbers here. So that we have Amy, Ella, and David. And then students need to ask themselves, do I know the first quantity? Is it given in the question? Yes, it is given. So 15 goes here. Do I know the second quantity? Well, I know something about it. I know that it is six more. So six more than 15, and they need to work it out first. And then David has four less than 15. Many students just start putting the numbers and adding them. So when they read something like this, they start, okay, 15, six, and four, and they come up with their own answer. However, analyzing it this way, they will solve it correctly. So now they need to work out the second quantity, the third quantity, and then it becomes way easier to add them up. So six more than 15, we ask them to add. Six more than 15, so 15 plus six. And there are many ways to add up. If we're talking about lower primary, they can add up by counting up, but the best way to do it is to split that six into five and one, we bridge into 10, we have 20 and one is 21. Now that 21 comes here. Now we have a quantity that is known. And then the last one, which is four less than 15, so they need to work out 15, take away four, that's easy one to work out, then 11 comes in. Now we have three quantities to add. So we have, can I move this a little bit here? And now we are adding 15, 21, and 11. That is seven and four. So we have 47 as our answer. Now, what did we learn from this? So you could see how easy it was just to work out this because I already have the plan. I'm just executing the plan. And now, instead of going to the next question, it's not about solving more and more, so let's reflect on what we learned from here. Obviously, analyzing the question this way makes it easier to understand. Planning it this way makes it way easier to solve it correctly. And we learned a strategy here. So if I have 15 plus six, 
it's really easy to break the five, the six into five and one, add to 20, and then you have the 21. Then we have multiple strategies to use from to add three numbers. Easy, and we're gonna use this for the next question. So we, we, we build something in the brain, we call schema. Now they have, which means a map, they have a map on how to solve a question that is similar to this. Thank you.